So hello and welcome everyone to the third and the last part of the tutorial about um, 3D modeling the, the a mesh for a lamp. So in the previous two tutorials you built already like the base of the lamp and the shade of the lamp. So the problem um, that we finally have is that if you would put like these two um, meshes, these two objects like right on top of each other, they wouldn't really like stick to each other. So they would like move around. But what we actually want to, to have is that the lampshade nicely fits into the base of the lamp and cannot move around anymore. So for this, we want to create a little recess that has exactly the same shape as the lampshade um, into the base of the lamp. All right, so let's get started. So at first, like you should have uh, both of these uh, geometries that we created in the previous tutorials in one Blender environment. You might have to load it otherwise. Then you can click on the lampshade and press G and Z, G for grab and Z on the Z axis to like lift it up to the right height. Now I want to line it properly. And what is really useful here is the X-ray view. So you can see with the X-ray view, both geometries at the same time. Now click on the lampshade and press again G and Z to um, move the lampshade up and down and try to align it nicely such that, uh, that the lower ring of the lampshade is inside of the geometry, inside of the volume of the base of the lamp. So once you're happy with this and the position is, uh, is correct, you should click on the base of the lamp because we want to modify the base of the lamp and not the shade of the lamp. And we will use a modifier. There's um, a modifier called uh, the Boolean modifier. And so what we want to do is a Boolean operation. So every overlapping volume between the lampshade and the base of the lamp should get removed such that inside of the base of the lamp, we will have a little recess that has exactly the same shape as the lampshade that you created in the previous tutorial. So we're gonna click on Boolean. And now we have to uh, select which object we want to um, remove pretty much. This is in my case, it's called like circle 06, but it is the lampshade. We use the difference operation so it uh, removes all the differences and then we click on apply. So in here you can see um, what kind of effect this has. So like all the geometry, every volume that the lampshade had is now removed from the base of the lamp. And once we print this, like these two geometries will fit together perfectly. So, and the last thing that is missing uh, now is a hole in, uh, through which we can put the USB cable that will um, power the ESP32 and will also power our LEDs that we will connect in the, in the later lab um, to the inside of this lamp base. So, to create this hole, um, we will use like a similar trick as for this recess that we just created. So at first, like to get like a nicer overview over everything, um, we want to like make all these objects invisible by clicking on this eye icon that you see over here. Now we want to create a shape um, that later will become the hole. So for this, we press um, Shift A and we create a cylinder right now. We set vertices to 64 and the radius to 0 0.6. So the hole will have a total diameter of 1.2 centimeters. So this is now um, oriented in the wrong direction. We want to have this hole on the side of the base of the plate. So we press R to rotate and then X to rotate it only on the X axis. And then we type in 90. You can also do this in the upper right transform panel. Then we press G and Y to move it, to grab it and move it along the Y axis to bring it a little bit off center. So now we can make the base of the lamp um, visible again and they're like not overlapping or so. So great, so now of course we can see that the cylinder is a little bit too low. So this would go through the floor or like the bottom of, of the base. So we press G and Z to grab it and move it on the Z axis and like lift it up like just a little bit higher. And then we press G and Y to move it along the Y axis and already like put it um, inside of the wall of this um, of the base of the lamp. So we can see here it's a little bit off center which we want to um, resolve. So we go to the transform panel and we set the X location to zero to make sure that it is um, right in the center. So once it's done, we want to like calibrate it a little bit and make sure that everything is in the right place. So we, we see the cylinder might be like a little bit too high. So we just press G and Z to move it up and down a little. Very helpful here is again the X-ray um, view that Blender offers. We want to like have it a little bit above the bottom of this, this base element for the, for the lamp. 
So once we are happy with this, um, we want to use our trick with the boolean modifier once again. So we click on the base because we want to modify the base and uh, select the boolean modifier again. Um, the name of this object that we just created is the cylinder. This might have a different name for you. So once this is done, we just um, we can look at it like where the cutout will happen. Then we apply it. And now if you press on, on the cylinder, if you click on the cylinder and move it out again, we see that we actually created uh, this hole. And if we are happy with this so far, we can now go on to print the base of the object. And since we don't need the cylinder anymore, um, we can click on it and by pressing X and delete, uh, we can remove this object again from our workspace.